Okay, so what did we learn from that? Well, not much really. Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I'm at a trailhead. All right, I'm very close to a road, so there might be an occasional car that drives by. But uh, I just stopped because one of my invisible friends named Bowman, uh, who hangs out on various forums with me, said that he was at a bushcraft forum and they were debating whether or not standard cotton balls make uh, good char material and can you do that in a normal tin. Some people say it works, some people say it doesn't work. He has tried it and, you know, it says it works. I have complete faith in the accuracy of his statement. I, you know, I trust the guy completely. But, um, you know, since there was a debate about it, I thought it would be interesting to see if it actually works. Now, I'm not going to take time to build a fire. First off, it's a little windy today. B, you know, for the sake of a YouTube video, it's not worth the time or the effort. And... You know, I'm just going to do it on a little um, pocket rocket clone that I have. And I'm going to use um, a standard Altoids tin. And we'll, we'll see how it goes, okay? Hang on. Okay, obviously we're in the back of my pickup truck bed. That's going to help block some of the wind. I do own a real MSR pocket rocket, but this is a cheap clone I got off of eBay a few years ago. It's been uh, functioning great. I mean, it was like $7. A lot of people, not a lot. I would say, I do know that some people have had these fail on them, but I've probably boiled, I don't know, 50 to, well, 50 times I've probably boiled water for meals with this. And I haven't had any issues to, you know, basically two cups at a time for your basic mountain house stuff when I'm uh, day hiking or backpacking. It works great. Just just as an aside. Okay. Uh, normally, I just this is my normal Altoids tin that I use for charring stuff. Some char stuff in there. Um, this Altoids tin does not have a hole drilled in it anywhere. I use it just the way it came. In order to uh, to prove that this is like a, a straight up standard Altoids tin, I'm going to use a new one for this little experiment. Okay. No holes drilled in it. Enough air will escape and smoke will escape, you know, from the from the sides. Every once in a while I've had these like pop up in the corner or what have you. No big deal. Okay, people are like, oh you gotta drill a hole in it. Like why would you drill a hole in it? That never made any sense to me. So, alright, let's fire this bad boy up. There we go. Well, this is doing what it's doing. Just go through my EDC quick here, since obviously this is gonna go on the Everyday Carry community forum and possibly elsewhere, but. Spider go! Oh my God! It's, it's unbelievable that I'm carrying an Endora, right? Yeah, I know, right? I love me some spider co and door, what can I say? Leatherman Wingman. Which I'm going to open up and use to get that bad boy off of there in a couple minutes. I have been experimenting with a couple other lights, but I've gone back to my BLF Manker A6. Pretty much the perfect EDC light, if you ask me. And uh, a bandana. Woo. Just gonna hold this down for a second. It's not the first time a corner's popped up when I'm charring stuff, so.
might not be able to see it on film, but I can still see stuff coming out of the hinge area. I think that's probably done. Let's turn this bad boy off. Or turn it on all the way and then turn it off. <laughs> of course, I'm too impatient to wait for it to cool down. Okay, as you guys can see, it's definitely all charred up. It's, uh, they say that it's a little fragile. I guess perhaps it is a little fragile. Let's see if we can get it to take a spark, huh? There you go. Oop. So yeah, you can definitely use, well, it's kind, so obviously we knew it was probably going to char. No surprise there. Eh, yeah, the wind is just getting it. So no surprise. I think it, you know, they held together pretty good, I think. You know, they're not... They're not going to just disintegrate on you, you know? So there's that. Like I said, obviously no holes or anything in here. And uh, yeah, even with the corner of the lid popping up a little bit, you still got good char material. It's, you know. People make a big deal about this. It's, it's not rocket surgery. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your time. Okay, uh, what did we learn from that? Not much. Okay. Uh, as any of us would have guessed, it's a cotton material, so, you know, you can char it. I think uh, it's interesting to note that even with the corner popping up on that Altoids tin, letting it in or out a lot of air, depending, it's mostly out, you know, the gases. Um, you know, it still worked fine. And to, to go through all the trouble of like damaging an Altoids tin that you might want to, you know, you would never really boil water in it, right? Unless it was some kind of extreme emergency. But why put holes in stuff that's not going to keep your stuff dry if it gets wet or it's raining or whatever? There's, there's no point damaging a resource in order to make char material, you know? It's, it's fine without a hole in it. So we should put that, that, uh, debate to bed. Regarding um, whether or not the charred cotton balls are fragile, I didn't think they were particularly fragile, you know. Um, perhaps if you overchar them, you know, if you really, like, heat them up good, maybe they break down a little bit more. You know, who knows? Who, who, who cares? More to the point. But, uh, yeah, they were fine. They took a good spark, um, you know, easily enough as any char material. And... Uh, let's see. Just one more thing about the tin without the hole in it. Uh, I've charred like thick, heavy Carhartt material from old bibs that I have. I've charred punk wood, old t-shirt material, pretty, you know, anything. Anything that you would normally char, you could char in that tin without the hole in it. So there you go. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. Hope that wasn't too long or too boring. Okay. Uh, what did we learn from that?
I mean, besides the fact that this is a busy road. There goes some road cyclist just drove by. Or rode by, I should say.